sorry about that, babe. All right, guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Wild Arms on the Sony PlayStation, my second ever full playthrough, first playthrough in about seven or eight years. This is part 36, and I believe to be the final part. In part 35, we pretty much went through all of Malduk. We fought a bunch of bosses, including some optional bosses. Uh, we then activated the, uh, the, I guess, I don't know, the warp of Malduk, whatever you want to call it, uh, by getting the three pieces, the red, blue, and green. Uh, and now... Uh, we beat the, I believe, to be the boss that uh, guards the end game bosses, so we're on our path to the end game. So we're gonna go ahead, cast invisible, and get going. Because I am ready, baby. As soon as I cast invisible, I get into a random encounter, because why not, right? And it's these fucking assholes. No big deal. Um, I might just start trying to run away. A lot of these enemies don't really have status afflictions, so it's not the end of the world. Also, I fucked up. I forgot that the blue guy is the tougher one, not the red guy. Oh, well. We keep getting, uh, secret sign drops from these guys, and, like, Magnum Fang is almost, like, one MP or something at this point. I think it's two. Oh, no, I didn't want a phaser. Jeez. Just for, uh, for reference, guys, I recorded part 35 and this part same night. It's very late, and I think I might be getting COVID again for the second time in... About a year's time or so. So I'm fading down the stretch, but I'm very, very, uh... Very, very eager to beat the game. It's within my reach. So let's go back here. And now we gotta do some more running around. Grab this while I'm at it. This is where we placed everything in the previous part. Down the stairs. Now we gotta do more running. <laughs> this is the uh, the boring sector where you just literally are fucking running everywhere. Didn't even have a chance to do invisible. <sighs> oh, and we also keep our fingers fucking crossed, guys, that we don't get uh, freezes here. But I believe there's only two bosses left, so if we do get freezes, it's not the end of the world. It's more so just kind of annoying. I'm also starting to think that the game doesn't heal you before the final fights. So that's actually kind of fucked up. Unless something crazy comes my way, man. Not seeing it, so if that's the case, and you're playing this game, make sure you have enough magic carrots to do what you need to do. That's all I'm gonna say. I wanna cast invisible, but I'm a little wary. I guess we do have a bunch of mega berries, which could be just as good. I'm gonna cast invisible. I don't wanna get any more fights. This was the room that I fought Burial in, and I believe this is it. <clears throat> Ooh, is there a save spot? What's over here? I don't know, what is this? This is the power switch for the dimensional elevator. The destination reads Cod Dink. Oh, you can go back to Cod Dingle. Nah, I don't think I want to, though. I think we could get through... So I guess that's probably the game's way of... making up for, uh... your shit, but you know what? Dude, why do these not recover MP? That's actually kind of whack. Max HP all. Oh well. I'm not going back, fuck it. Let's push forward. We can do this. We're fine. Malduk Central Control, do you want to enter? I got this, even with my low MP. Magnum Fang costs nothing, and we have plenty of healing items, dude. We're good. Here we go. Whew. Getting the tingles. You're late, or should I say, too late. Look at the little planet down there. That's your Phil Gaia. Watch as it shatters into oblivion. No, you can't do that. 
Malduk is in your ordinary colony. It has a ground assault capabilities. A thousand year old human city in the sky. Now it's mine to do as I choose. Burn, burn to the ground. Pure power does not discriminate. All power is destined to destroy. Ogaya is our home. We won't allow this. Alright, fuck you, Siegfried. <clears throat> I think these fights that I'm going to be engaging right now are actually easier than the ones that we've been doing. So, it should be interesting. Um... What should I even do? I don't know. Quick. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I could already tell. This fight's gonna be easier than like all the optional ones. <clears throat> you know, optional fights are optional for a reason. They're supposed to be super hard, so... I actually assume this to be quite easier. Especially if this is all he's doing. Well, we've already done almost 10k worth of damage. Now we've done over 10k, I believe. Gotta imagine he has less than 50k health, so... And also, thing to note here... People should be able to build up their specials really quick, which means I could fucking demolish him soon. Um, I don't even know what to do here. What should I do? Um... Hmm. Honestly, I'm just gonna attack. I might only do like 10 damage, but it's whatever. All right, negative rainbow. Okay, that's that's kind of a crappy thing, but I could do mystic uh, berry, and all is well in the world. Let's. See. Hey, 213 is better than nothing. And let's do mystic uh, potion berry. <clears throat> That'll wipe out rainbow. Well, it'll nullify this one, at least. And he's dead already. <laughs> I cannot fall yet. I have to stay myself. I cannot control. It's too early for this. I will not give up my body. Alright, are we going to have a chance to heal here? Because if not, that makes things kind of annoying. Destruction will not bring our future, Siegfried. You lose. Lose? Fool, you haven't got a clue. Destruction is just the beginning. Is that right, Siegfried? The power of absolute darkness. The eternal nothingness will devour Fogaya with the teeth of fire. You cannot avoid death. Watch as your planet's last flame of life goes out. Okay. By the way, guys, if I do somehow fail at the last boss, uh, I'm gonna skip all the footage <laughs> when we get back there. And try it for the second time, but I don't think we will. We'll be fine. Stop! Please stop it now! What do you want with a world where nothing exists? What benefit is there for suffering like this? <laughs> cry out, repent! Why is he laughing like Alzahad? Your defeat gives me much of warm feeling inside, and it feels so good. Now the pure extinction of life begins. This is your final lesson, humans. All will come to a sudden halt. Like a machine being turned off. There's nothing beyond the end of life. Damn, that's dark. There's Mother in her full glory. It... it can't be. This force is the same as Mother. Mother Freed. <laughs> I am Mother Freed. I have become one with my beloved child. I have returned, reborn of my own flesh. Siegfried has been engulfed like a baby being cradled by a mother. Oh yeah, I see that. Wow, this is getting out of hand. That thing grew up inside of Siegfried and basically consumed him to become the thing that we're fighting now? I am the ultimate beauty. The rejoining of a mother around her child. Satisfy me with your last dance of agony. Bro, are we not fully healed? Tell me. Tell me we're not. And we're not. 
Okay, we got our goat dolls. We got our goat dolls. Because <laughs> we're going to need them. <clears throat> um, okay. Well, let's just start healing Rudy. I wanted to do lock state, but Rudy needs to survive. By the way, guys, I believe this is the final boss of the game, to my knowledge, so... Fatima's Miracle. Dispelled Magic. Oh. oh, I see, okay. So if I casted Lock State, it would have been uh, ignored, actually. I think that's what that means, right? With that being said, I still think I should Lock State. And then go back to healing. I feel like that move might have been a state uh, status affliction, but I'm not positive. <clears throat> I'm going to do heal blade on Rudy and high heal on Jack. I just want to get my HP up where I'm like super confident about people not dying. I'd also like to get Jack's uh, special ability off too if I could. Okay, Cecilia's still alive, surprisingly. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use Phaser. We're gonna use Magnum Fang. And we're actually gonna go ahead and use Ambrosia. Because why not, right? <laughs> if I got him, use him. Makes things easier. And then I'll cast uh, Lock State again, just in case. All Smogna. Huh. That was weird. Phaser. Magnum Fang. Um, you know what? Let's go for High Guardian. We're just gonna risk it here. Yeah, Siegfried wasn't that hard, and the run back wasn't too bad, so I'm not too concerned. If it decides to freeze on me, I just won't use a different arm. I'll continue to use Phaser, and that's that. I feel like it's every time I switch Rudy's arm to something else. Like when I fought, uh... What's his face? Fucking Ragu Ragula. I switched to the other arm like an idiot for Fury Shot, and I think it fucked everything up. This is a cool, uh... Sprite, by the way. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, Fury Shot, and we'll do Phaser. And Jack will do Sonic Vision. And Cecilia will do... I guess just high heal, whatever. We've done a shit ton of damage to her already. Like, we're, I was gonna say, she's probably dead. I knew it. That's it. I think that's it, guys. All that leveling we did, uh, grinding for duplicators. <laughs> Paid off. Even if my flesh is destroyed, I will always have a home at the end of time. Though Gaia will not be able to escape the darkness that is upon it. Nothing can stop the end from arriving. So now I don't recall... If there is another boss, if we control ourselves, or if we're just on a fast track to the end game. So we'll see. Those were the, uh, the Maul Duke things. All that we've accomplished was for nothing? It was all coming to an end? Not so fast. I don't think so. I feel the power. I'm not going to let this happen. No way. We must do something about this. I can see so clearly now. I can feel the life energy from the teardrop. The teardrop is responding to the power of protection. The power of the guardians. We fight because we have something worth protecting. That is why we believe in miracles. Fucking miracles. <clears throat> The bright light of the teardrop. Did the spirit of a thousand years past come back to life? Their voice is in my heart again. Has the power of the Guardians been restored? The teardrop is glowing just as it did in the days when Fogaya was still a rich and fertile land. The power to behold. Oh, the power. All the Guardians have gathered together onto the Shaman Child. We shall rid this planet of darkness once and for all. Teardrop, give us the power once more.
The darkness has faded. This is the power of the Guardians and the Teardrop. This is the absolute power. We are the protectors of Filgaia and the Teardrop, behold. You humans have experienced the wounds of our land and the hearts of its people. Somehow, you've found faith again, and you've created a better future for Filgaia and yourselves. It will take time, but as long as people care enough about the planet, the flow of decay can be reversed. Purity of the heart makes the impossible possible. You humans are the real guardians of Filgaia. You hold the key to Filgaia's future. Humans are the guardians of Filgaia? Not all humans have the light in their heart. But we sense that it will be not too long before everyone does. Hmm. It would take a miracle indeed to accomplish that. This isn't the end, but a new beginning. Rudy, Jack, let's get back to Filgaia. Don't make me do it. Yo, are you making me do this? Can I escape? Oh my god. Don't make me backtrack. Don't do that. I can't stand when RPGs make you do that shit at the end. Oh no. Are you for real? Maybe there's another fight. Let's, let's check. <laughs> let's see. Oh my god. Yeah, there is another fight. Oh shit, I jumped the gun, guys. I jumped the fucking gun. Um, okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Alright. Oh yeah, yeah, we have to warp. That's right. So, the final fight probably, uh... Hmm. I completely forgot about this. But obviously now that I'm seeing it, I remember. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Apparently it's not too hard though, I don't think. Oh, please don't freeze now. <laughs> Zeke Tuvai, don't think you're getting off that easy. We're not done yet. That voice, is that Siegfried? Didn't he get eaten by mother and absorbed within her? I ditched Mother and returned from Hell. I am Zeke Tuvai, the Revenge Blade. In this artificial place between the land and the sky, your destiny will end here. You could die by my blade or be crushed between the dimensions. Choice is yours. Or I could just continue to beat the shit out of you. How about that, bitch? Um... Alright. Let's do, I guess... Quick? Yeah, I'm just going to continue to do the same strat here. I'm probably going to have to reload Rudy's arm. But as long as I don't switch arms... Oh, apparently <laughs> the guide said it's easier than the first Siegfried fight, so it'll probably be over really quick. Sorry for jumping the gun there, guys. I, I got you all excited for the end game. I could have sworn that the uh, the mother abomination was the final one, but I was wrong. Forgot about these uh, pesky fucking devil. Oh, high heel, you son of a fucking bitch, dude. What a schmuck. I forgot that he could do that. Huh. Well, whatever. It's a numbers game at this point. My only concern is that he doesn't keep healing himself to the point where it delays and it extends a possible, uh, you know, game freeze. Oh my god, bro. High heal again. Are you fucking kidding with this shit, dude? That's actually not cool. How do I, like, stop you from doing that? Can I silence you? I probably can't, so it's probably a waste. But he's, uh, wiped off a lot of damage, so... Can you go back to attacking me, you fucking douche? Oh no, bro. This is no good. Alright, it didn't work. 
All right. Let's go ahead and lock state then. Shit. So this fight seems really easy. It just seems annoying. You know what I mean? Especially if he keeps healing himself. All right. Okay, uh, we need to attack then, and we need to do Magnum Fang, and we need to do, um, no, hold on. I'm gonna have you reload your clip. You can do Magnum Fang, and you could do High Guardian. We've casted High Guardian, like, two or three times with no issues, so I don't think, again, I think all the freezes have to do with Rudy's arm. And this thing should do... Well, it did 9,999 damage, I think, to one of the final bosses, so... Was it Mother, or was it the, uh, the other one? Before Siegfried. Mm-hmm. Yo, I locked state, bro. It shouldn't work. I locked state, like, two turns ago. Thank you. Go back to Phaser. Magnum Fang. And we'll high heal Cecilia. And now we got a Fury Shot next turn. <clears throat> so even if he high heals himself, we should be lock stated. Yep. I'm gonna make sure that I lock state once more. We'll Fury Shot Phaser. We will Magnum Fang, and we will lock state once again. Oh my fucking god! I am so pissed right now! This is fucking bullshit. I'm not happy. I guess I can't even fucking Fury Shot. Alright, well, here's the scoop, guys. I'm cutting the footage, and um, I just gotta get back to this fight, I guess. I'll meet you back here. Alright, guys, we're back. Spent another 15 minutes going through the final few bosses, and we're back at the final one again. If we get another disc freeze, I'm gonna have to uh, finish this up the next day, because I can't... I can't handle this shit. So what I decided to do is I'm going to handicap myself in this fight. I'm not going to use Fury Shot as much as I want to. So hopefully, um, what the hell is his name? Zeke Tuvai. Hopefully he uh, cooperates and doesn't do too much healing. Apparently he has 50,000 HP. So we're doing whatever we can <laughs> to make this not freeze. We're just going to use Phaser and we're not going to use his ability. Uh, so far we haven't gotten any freezes with summons or Jack's ability, stuff like that, so... Basically what I'm trying to say is, I'm not too concerned, um... Keeping Rudy alive anymore. Because I'm not going to use his ability, so... We'll play it by ear. And we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to try to do lock state. This fight's not even fucking hard, like... Pretty much every single fight that uh, has frozen down the stretch, they're not hard. They just take too long, <laughs> and then I get a disc error. But, like I said, apparently it's the PS2. So, did I get lock state off? Good. You know, we already did seven plus thousand damage in one turn, so like it's not... I don't need to do what I've been doing, you know what I mean? So... As long as he doesn't heal himself too much, then we're, we're, we're gravy. If he starts healing, of course, he wipes out all of our progress, you know what I mean? Like, if he heals right now, he wiped out our first three attacks. And that'd be a pain in the dick. Um, let me think here. Guess I'll try to do this. So far, so good. We did roughly 12,000 damage. Roughly 16. 
We're at roughly 20k already, so he's only got about 30k left. And he didn't heal himself, so that's good. Um, I'm going to have her use a bullet clip on Phaser. And then we have all the resources we need as long as we don't get frozen. Uh, I'm trying to go to bed here, people. The, uh, the freezes have been really ramping up down the end of the game, and it's been... <sighs> like, it's... At the beginning of the game, it sucked, right? At the end of the game, it's, like, killing me again. The middle game was actually fine. So Jack and Cecilia being silenced kind of sucks, actually. Um... Especially because Jack goes first. Still a decent attack, though. And Cecilia's magic is almost out. Oof, this could be bad, actually. Ooh, that's real bad. That's not good, actually. <clears throat> now we have to wait for RNG or green status. Yikes. I wanna make sure I have all my goat dolls equipped. All right, so Rudy's condition green. Rudy being silenced isn't a big deal. Cecilia's gotta be close though, right? I have to imagine. Oh, what did I just do? I did not mean to do that. That was a mistake. Alright, Jack will... Oh my god, should I really try double- No, I'm not gonna double attack. Or should I? <laughs> Two moves in one turn. Hmm... Maybe. If it freezes, I don't know, it's just not my night. So we'll do... We'll do Magnum Fang and Magnum Fang. And Cecilia should do Lock State, actually. If she can. And then next turn, I'll summon the High Guardian. He's actually almost dead. Yeah. We'll be alright. It's good. Phaser. Magnum Fang. And we'll do High Guardian. He actually might die this turn. Because he hasn't healed himself, so... Yep, he's dead. Please don't freeze. <laughs> Look, I've given you so much damage This is in this unstable artificial space. As I said before, battle in artificial space is very risky. Our previous battle was nothing compared to this. We will all be blown away. <laughs> no one can beat me. Someone who is destined to rule cannot lose. Fuck you, dude. Stupid. Ah, oh, God. Just to think, I could have been in bed by now. But your stupid disc error move. That's that's what I'm going to uh, relate it and chalk it up to as. The bosses had disc read error moves to freeze my game. It's part of the experience, right? <clears throat> Alright, so that's Cod Dingle, right? Because we, we're taking the elevator down from Malduk. So now we're going to sit back and enjoy the ending. We got the golem. Pretty cool looking, uh... I guess this is a pre-rendered background, probably. But nice sprite work. The targeting system is off. The stress of the previous battle is taking its toll on Cod Dingle. It's fast scrolling again, guys. The Earth Golem, what I haven't asked for. I gotta read quick. The anti-phasing shield, will it work? The tower can't hold pressure much longer. The only thing left is to believe in the anti-phasing shield.
Wow. That's a def defensive mechanism. Princess, have the Earth Golem... Uh, oh my god, I can't even keep up. No, I didn't... Can't, oh my fucking... He's doing it on his own as if he has his own will. Why do they do this? Please stop, Earth Golem. Stop, you're gonna die. Thank you, Earth Golem. I can feel you in my heart. You're more than just a fighting machine. Dude, why? How does that pass quality control? Seriously. Nobody fucking reads like that. Like, you're trying to take your time. It's the end of the game. You're not supposed to go like... That bothers me. Anyway, one of my minor gripes about the game. Aww. I also can't even reflect on my thoughts because the auto scrolls too much. Hi, Earth Golem, are you asleep? Okay, now it's really fucking slow for no reason. You sure did well. So weird, I don't understand it. I want to stay here with you as long as I can, but... There are a lot of things left for me to do in Fogaya. The next time you wake up, I promise you will see a peaceful Fogaya. You'll be surrounded by joyous people and nature. Till that day comes. Good night, Earth Golem. Here we go. Super slow text now. <laughs> go figure. Good night. Okay. Are we just looking at... There's like a loop here, Mids, Adelaide... The, the castle in Arctica... I don't remember the ending, to be honest with you. It's been quite a while. This is such a good game, man. I mean, there's flaws, don't get me wrong, but... Rudy. Sometimes I can't believe we're traveling like this. And that we survived that huge explosion. I felt like... I woke up and it was morning. You and the princess were pre preparing for the journey, excuse me. That's not like you. You still don't believe in reality? Oh, I just remembered. The princess gave me a letter. She said I shouldn't have read it until we left the castle. Hey, Handpan, why don't you read it now? Me? Yes, it's your job. The fuck? Is she sick? I wonder where everyone will be when you read this letter. I wonder if it will be sunny, or if it will be raining. Maybe it's because I experienced a painful battle, but I feel very comfortable in this ordinary life. Because of the protection from the Earth Golem, we were able to return to Filgaia again. However, the Earth Golem has returned to its slumber. He will never wake up again. He doesn't have to be a fighting machine anymore. Good night, Earth Golem. When you can sleep peacefully, the world uh, is full of tender light and peace. Excuse me. This is how it should be, but to tell you the truth, I'm very lonely. I guess she was just, like, tired after battle or something. I was shocked when I heard the two of you were leaving. 
I thought we'd always be together. I'll never forget the days when the weight of Philgaia was on our shoulders. If it weren't for you guys, I'd have been crushed under the burden. I was able to overcome the painful journey because of you. You lent a hand to such a lonely heart. Because of that, I developed the selfish thought of the three of us always being together. <laughs> I love the, uh, like the remix renditions of the tracks that have been in the game. It's super cool. Really good soundtrack. One of the best, actually. A good soundtrack can literally, I've said this before, it can carry a mediocre game like Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. The soundtrack is so fucking good that it makes you want to play the game again. When a great soundtrack is combined with a great game, this, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, so on and so forth, it just takes it to a whole new level. And yes, I would put Wild Arms up with the top echelon of RPGs. Despite its issues, which I'll get into probably in a bits cast since I already reviewed this years ago. Uh, I definitely think I enjoyed this playthrough more the second time. It's fun doing the optional content. I'm still upset that I couldn't beat Ragu Ragula because of the disc thing and I didn't feel like coming back. But uh, it is what it is. Gilgaia is not free of all the monsters. People will still need my sword, and that is why I must go on. Jack, I never thought you would say such things. You must have something new within yourself. I guess I wasn't the only one whose life has changed. You two have departed on a journey because you chose to follow the new desires in your hearts. I too have decided to follow the new desires in my heart. The Princess of Adelheid shouldn't live like this, but it's my decision as an ordinary human being. I will no longer force myself to be the perfect princess. From now on, I'll be an ordinary 17 year old girl. I will think hard and be honest to myself. If you want to be cared by someone, you must care for someone else first. You, Rudy, taught me this lesson. I can't stand watching Fulgaia deteriorate. I must do something. I want to protect what I care for. This is my new desire. Today, the west wind blew through Adelaide again. A wind which promises prosperity. 
I pray this wind takes my desires beyond the horizon. P.S. The two of you should be receiving something that you've forgotten from Adelaide soon. Don't be lazy, make sure you take it. <clears throat> so, the princess is also starting on her new journey. Where? Doesn't matter, as long as she's doing it on her own free will. I'm sure she'll turn Adelaide into a good kingdom. She used to hate royalty so much? Well, the life of royalty is very complicated. Right, Rudy. Oh yeah, the letter mentioned something we forgot. Rudy, it must have been you. What did you forget, you careless kid? He's not like you, Jack. I wonder what it is. This is too much. You deal with it. I told you you'd be lazy. W what What are you doing here? Am I not supposed to be here? I'm delivering to you the item that you forgot. And what is that? Haven't you figured it out yet? <laughs> so, where are we going? Wait a minute. You said you found what you wanted to do in your letter. What's gonna happen to Adelaide? You're right, Jack. I have to do something to save my precious Fulgaia from deteriorating. Minister Johan will take care of Adelaide in my absence. Don't worry. I've decided to live my true, uh, live true to the desires of my heart. We just happen to be on the same path today. Just happen to be today? Are you sure about this? Yes, it's a coincidence. Today, tomorrow, and forever. I guarantee it. Right, Rudy? Hey, don't leave us here. Ah, oh, man. Look, this is the land we've been protecting. It wasn't only us. There's Professor Emma, Jane, McDullen, the Captain, and Mariel. Every single desire that lives on Fogaya, and... Are they looking at us? Are they breaking the thir <laughs> Are they breaking the wall there, huh? I think so. Ah, oh, man, this game fills me with, uh, lots of emotion. You know, this is a game from my childhood collection. So, one of the few that, uh, you know, touches me deep inside when I fire it up. And it's great to beat it uh, with a better frame of mind than I did in my first playthrough. It's, uh, it's quite the game. Uh, underrated, in my opinion. Lost sometimes in the grand scheme of all things JRPG. Deserves to be talked about more, for sure. I'm gonna do a bits cast on it, uh, kind of recoup my thoughts there. But uh, for now, guys, I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of the ending. If you've enjoyed the playthrough, please make sure to like the videos, comments. I do my best to reply to all comments on all videos, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next bits plays. Take care.